used to fold my socks like everyone else until I learned a genius trick that I'm about to show you. Thumbs up if you can relate to this one. This is how you fold your socks. Easy peasy. Yeah, it doesn't save that much room and definitely doesn't look cute. And when you tend to do this method of sock folding, even though it's super quick, it does stretch out the ankle of the sack and you don't want that. Or how about this situation going on right here? By the way, if you are interested in these organizers, they are number one bestseller. I'll link in the description box below, but let's whip this into shape. I'm gonna show you how to do this trick with long socks and mid-length socks. You will impress your friends, your family, and it's gonna help you save space. This is also a great trick for when you travel. As you can see here, I have two different length socks. These are shorter socks and these are longer socks. Let me show you a trick here when you have shorter socks. What you want to do is put the heel side up. I know this seems unnatural. You need to train your socks and they will form to this shape. It's how you actually wear your sock. What you want to do is put those heel sides up. Lay them over top one another, just like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip one foot over, tuck it into this side, just like so. And then you're going to take your other foot, lay it over the top, and then tuck it in, just like so. So, once you got your nice, beautiful square, look at that, boop, 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 toss your socks around. This looks so nice in some organizers or in your drawers. It kind of looks like the Cotton Marie method, although these stay together much nicer than that approach. Now this part is super satisfying just to put them in your drawer however you like. You can see how beautiful and organized this is. Makes you want to keep it that way. Yes. All right, let me show you on a pair of longer socks an alternative genius strategy that I absolutely love. I'm going to show you two times because it can be a little bit tricky when you're first watching. Using our longer socks, we have our heel side up. What we're going to do is cross one over, just like I showed you in the previous example. You're gonna flip one toe over and tuck it under. And then you're gonna take the other end and fold it over. Then you're gonna take this toe and tuck it over and take this end and you're gonna flip it over. And as you can see here, I have two ends sticking out. This is where you typically would insert your foot. And what you wanna do is you can see here, if you flip it over, there's a little pocket. Yes, you're gonna flip this end of the sock into that beautiful pocket that you just created. Again, this approach is much easier with longer socks. And then if you flip it over again, you can see that you've created another little pocket. So all you wanna do is go ahead and flip that end into that pocket. And look at that beautiful fold. Yeah, who? my friend let me just show you one more time here really quickly you're gonna get really fast at this again heel side up cross it over take your toe flip it over take this side and flip it over take your toe flip it over take this side and flip it over you have your two ends sticking up right now well you can see that you've already created a little pocket so you're gonna tuck this side into that pocket that you've created nice and snug you're gonna flip it over and you have another little pocket and you're gonna tuck this side into that pocket and as you can see here again another beautiful square fold look at how nice this is. Now, if you want to learn a really cool blanket folding trick that will save you a ton of space and impress your friends, your family, and yourself, click the video on screen now or click this one to keep the fun going. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.